Hey y'all, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. I wanted to do a flip through for this journal that I completed. This is another one of the journals where the pages cascade. Um, I did put this long piece of eyelash trim on here as a tie, um, but you could change the tie and then use this for embellishing. Um, this one also measures eight inches by seven and three quarters tall. And these are all gonna be made very similar to one another. I have one more that I'm maybe halfway through um, figuring out. I haven't even started ephemera for it yet. Um, but I'm hoping to do each one of the girls in this set. This uh, digital uh, kit is from Dreams Etc. I also use Artie Mays um, digitals in here and Adamo prints are where some of the ladies came from. So on this page, I have a pocket here. And in this pocket is a modern invoice for you to play with or write on. A piece of scrapbooking paper to coordinate. Some writing space here. Um, this may be a good place to do some of your own arting. Add laces, add trims, add maybe some washi tape here. These journals, I intended to be a little bit more blank um, with usable materials tucked in and stacked in here so that you could personalize this to your own liking. In this pocket, another modern invoice, and this is a piece of vintage ledger paper that I rescued. Not super vintage, maybe 70s, 1970s, 80s, early 80s. Um, on this page, I added some dotted steno paper here. It's really nice paper as a writing spot. On this side, I have a double pocket. And in this pocket, there's a journaling card. This may have come from tailor-made journals. Um, I'll have to look. Either Adamo prints or tailor-made journals, I think. I'll let you know for sure. I'll put it in the description. Another journaling card here. And this is a pressed paper that has roses and some herbs um, in it. It has a little bit of texture, not much, but I thought it was nice contrast in here. And top loading pocket here. Some scrapbooking paper and grid paper to play with right on and then on this side I have a, another journaling spot this one I turn into a little booklet again using that dotted steno paper I really love this stuff it feels amazing it's very smooth high quality paper and she's gorgeous I love her My favorite image from this uh, set from Adamo Prints is this lady. And I did find somewhere a, a larger version of her than I'm going to get um, because I wanna use her as a cover. In this pocket, I put a um, yellow playing card I rescued from my local favorite local charity shop. Some grid paper. And then this is some vintage memo paper um, that I rescued. Let me show you what that looks like. Maybe. This is what it came out of. And, you know, it's been in here a long time. But it's a very nice paper. It's a little thin, um, but it feels amazing. A little creamy. 
So this all goes into that pocket. This butterfly um, is one of the wall art butterflies from Dollar Twenty Five Tree, and so its wings you can lift them up, and you can peel and restick for a little while. Eventually, that stops sticking. Not just a page here. Another pocket on this side. Some scrapbooking paper. Ledger paper. Vent that's vintage. Some more scrapbooking paper. So I have this pocket here. And then I turned her into a pocket. And some more of that dotted, dotted memo paper. Just made a little journaling spot and another little journaling spot here and then here's the back uh, this journal will be available in my Etsy shop thank you for watching guys appreciate it have a good day